Hey guys, Anthony Gallucci back for not a Black Diamond demo this time, but a kind of gear tour, if you will. Um, you know, showing what we use in the demos and what I use to record. So we'll start with the heart of what the demos are comprised of, other than the guitars. Um, it's a Fender 90s Tweed Blues Deluxe. Um, all original, original tubes, original speaker. She's actually probably ready for new tubes soon, but she doesn't get cranked or used very hard or gigged, so it's not drastic. Um, that's mic with a regular, just a 57 on axis. The microphone never moves, the amp never moves, so. And then we use these guys for cables. Planet Waves, Diario, American Stage Cable, nothing fancy. Um, any pedals that you hear in the demos, I usually call out. Um, currently, I'm running the Plexi Drive by Wampler, and any delay that you hear is always a JHS Panther, which is absolutely amazing. Um, so. If it were to play out anymore, that's what the wah is for. Always keep a tuner, um, M drive for a boost, and then a gate just to keep things quiet. Um, so we'll get up. That's the rig. Very simple. That's all on one of my custom pedal boards that I build. This guy here. It's all walnut. Um, killer pedal board. Um, super sturdy. Haven't had any trouble with them, so... If you want one, if you're out gigging, um, shoot me an email. I always build them. So this guy is the first ever Black Diamond Slick 60s. Uh, first one that Mike built. I designed the headstock for him. Um, if you see, it actually gets a straighter string pull on the, the D, G, B, and A string. And then your E's are almost perfectly straight. It holds tune very well. Bone nut, Pow Ferro fretboard, Black Diamond Crest at the 12th fret. Um, this is the first one of these pickups that we're doing. Um, it's the regular 69 that Mike makes, but it's unpotted. Um, so it's more like an old PAF with a vibrola. And then this is cool. They don't all do this. Um, but it splits, so I can get, you know, P90, then Humbucker. I get all my junior tones covered in one guitar. Um, that is a Karina body and a Karina neck. Really, really nice guitar. Um, next, there's the old girl. Everyone knows this one. I used to gig with this one all the time. 2002, Les Paul Studio, Grover Tuners. Rosewood fretboard, you know, whole nine yards, good Les Paul. That's all I can say about it. It's a great Les Paul. Nothing more I want. Um, again, it has another unpotted Black Diamond 69 in it. My favorite pickup from Mike. So there's the two together. Those are my two main guitars all the time. Always use them. Next, when I need a Strat. I have a 2005 American Standard Strat, shallow locking tuners, rosewood fretboard, strap locks, and a Wilkinson trim. Pickups are stock and they sound great. Um, this one does, this tone knob works for both middle and bridge, so it's nice. I can tame back some of the high end. Um, another black diamond that I have is the if it wants to sit the modern uh, I believe this was the first modern that Mike built too split um, parallelogram abalone inlays on a rosewood board quilt maple top this one has a DiMarzio PAF in the neck and a black diamond knucklehead in the bridge Spinner over. This one's pretty cool. Purple Heart body. It's really, really, really heavy. That wood's really dense. But tell you what, it sounds really good. 
That's before Mike was signing them. They're just marked USA. Killer guitar. Um, hands down. One of my favorite sounding guitars. It's just so thick and meaty sounding and mean. Um, back there you have my Martin. You've all seen the Martin. You've all seen 12 string that I've had for years. Nothing special there. Recording setup still the same as last year. Uh, ignore the mess. Still running the same MacBook with the same PreSonus interface. Um, nothing fancy. Board's not being used right now. Just going direct in. Um, some of the pedals I picked up. Uh, I got my Super Chorus back. My buddy was borrowing it for years. Finally said, hey, can I get it back? Um, I think I used it three times and then took it off the board. Um, I have a JHS Sweet Tea. Um, I'm contemplating trading this for a double barrel. Um, if anybody is interested. I said that last year too. When I first got it. I like it, but I'm not in love with it. But I do really like their 808 side. Uh, the Charlie just gets a little bit too compressed for me. Um, TS9. Lovecraft, I guess, modded it. I don't know. Sounds great. Not going to argue it. So that's always on standby in case I want to run a Tube Screamer. Um, and just a regular run-of-the-mill, nothing fancy, volume pedal that somebody made. Does its job. But if anybody has a double barrel and they're looking for a sweet tea, hit me up. Um, be interested in hearing a double barrel through the tweed. So, yeah, that's where we stand gear-wise. Really, really slimmed the herd down. Um, there's two more guitars. One's in the case. It's the first guitar that I ever built. And my set neck telly is out in, um, out near Harrisburg. My buddy Jordan's borrowing it. So, yeah, that's it. Those are my two mains. Or I should say three mains because I play those three all the time. Killer guitars. Uh, the modern, if I want that V tone. 12 string in the Martin and nice simple tweed combo and a handful of pedals. What more could I want? Alright, see you again next time when we start posting more Black Diamond reviews. Keep an eye out for those on the website as always. Rock on everybody.